I suffer from a huge fear of pulling the trigger, uh, trying to narrow it down. I'm smiling because we're talking about hesitation. So maybe some of this is, uh, is familiar for you. Um, trying to narrow it down to fear of losing money or possibly for perfection, perfection. I don't suffer from FOMO at all. Uh, lost a ton of money in the past, uh, but now just can't pull the trigger uh, and get into the trade. So I think what, what maybe comes to my mind, um, because of the lost a ton of money in the past is that maybe there's a little bit of scar tissue there. Um, you know, you have memories of how it felt to lose that much money, maybe to blow an account, uh, lose way more money than you were expecting. Um, and so then now it's not just about uh, the fear of losing today, whatever the amount of capital is, it's a risk. It's combined with the pain and the fear and all the other emotional chaos that has come from the past. And so if that is the case, and you can sort of quickly gauge whether or not that is true by asking yourself, well, if I think back to those periods when I lost all that money, do you still feel something just thinking back to it, right? Because option A is you think about it and you remember how you felt. That's not a problem, right? Memory is <laughs> supposed to be stored that way. But if you think back and it's like, no, no, I still feel that raw emotion that I did, you know, a year ago, two years ago, 10 years ago, that is not how memory is supposed to be stored. And that is scar tissue, emotional baggage, call it trauma, right? The emotion has been sort of locked in your mind. And so then when, right, the threat of losing comes up, which is obviously going to occur with every trade because every trade has the risk of losing right? It pings, triggers that old emotion. And so then you feel the tension of today and the tension and fear and chaos of yesterday or years ago and boom, right? You're paralyzed. So you really have to go through and address the old stuff in order to free up yourself enough to be able to have, um, yeah, kind of the presence of mind that you want now. So how do you do that? Well, since you've started working with the book, right? Mental hand history on the old stuff, treat it as if it's, as if it just happened, right? What is at the roots of this thing? Why is it that you're still holding on to these losses? Why are you not forgiving yourself? If it's perfectionism, okay, well then now you got to work through the perfectionism, you know, as a thing, not just in the past, but also today. Uh, but like, what else is, what else are you holding on to? Why else would you do that? Why else are you kind of, um, continuing to criticize yourself for what's lost. A lot of times when people, whether it's poker players or traders, you know, lose a big chunk of money, it feels like they have to make that money back in order to forgive themselves. But when those losses actually lead to a lot of learning, when those losses were somewhat inevitable because they actually weren't as skilled as they thought and it was early in their career and they just didn't know any better. And it just is part of the learning process for you. Not everybody goes through it, but Many, many people do, you know, when you can extract all the learning, the lessons, you can feel like you're a different person today, different trader today, different poker player today, different golfer today than you were years ago. Um, it's a heck of a lot easier to move on. Uh, but when those lessons feel like it was just worthless, like it feels like you, the only thing that is going to kind of make up for it is money and getting that money back. Well, then. Uh, you're not really kind of being fair to the to the to the process and the skill that has occurred from that point until today. You know, invariably with many of the clients that I've worked with, there is lots of learning. And once you start to tap into that and free it up, it actually feels like you're standing on solid ground, you know, rather than standing on quicksand.